guys, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta tell you about this. I gotta tell you about this, uh, this trailer here. Let me track this. Yes. Track! Guys, this is sponsored! This is sponsored content! This is money in the bank for me, okay? Guys, look Homecoming. at this. Look at this Amazon Prime original series. ...to reflect on your service and think about what comes next. What? I can't wait to hear your stories and talk to you about where you see yourself in the years to come. Does anyone have any questions I can answer? Wow. Wow, there's a lot to discuss here, guys. There's a lot to discuss here. Uh, first of all, as you can see, Julia Roberts is here. Um, you may remember Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman. Uh, other Julia Roberts films. All right, let's look up Julia Roberts here. Um, all right, let's see what else she's been in. Let's get the full filmography here, okay? Now, you could already see this is a quality production. Julia Roberts is in it. Um... Let me let me pull up her film art, guys. Let me remind you who Julia Roberts is, okay? Uh, you got Julia Roberts from Firehouse, 1987. She played the role of Babs, directed by uh, J. Christian Ingvordson. Oh wait, this was uncredited and also straight to video. Uh, that's not a good example. I'm gonna sell you on this. She was also in Satisfaction. She played Dar 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 Daryl. Daryl? Daryly? Daryly Shane. All right. Directed by Joan Freeman. Now, guess what? She was credited for this one. All right. She's also in Mystic People. That's, you know, everyone knows that one. I'm trying to get the really obscures here. She was uh, in Preda Porter, 1994, as Anne Eisenhower. Directed by a uh, director who doesn't have his own Wikipedia page, Robert Altman. Okay. Uh, let's see what her last production here was. Smurfs. Guys, do you guys remember Smurfs, The Lost Village? Also, I just want to remind you guys, uh, this November is the Wikipedia Asian Month. Come join us. I'm going to take a look at that afterwards, okay? But for right now, we're going to talk about Smurfs for a little bit. I just want to remind you guys here, okay? Uh, this is not her first venture into film or, or television, Actually, it might be her first venture. Let's see here. No, she was in television before, but I just want to remind you guys. She was in Smurfs The Lost Village, okay? Um, don't know who she played. Let's see here. She played Kelly Asbury. Do you guys remember her? No? Well, I suggest you watch uh, Smurfs Lost Village. But now she's in Homecoming as uh, Heidi Bergman. On Amazon Video, please uh, visit Amazon. You know, you have Amazon Prime. You can watch Homecoming. Famous Julia Roberts from the critically acclaimed film Ben is Back and uh, The Pelican Brief. If you've watched these films, you've seen Julia Roberts in all her glory. But I got to tell you guys, we're going to look at this again. All right. Homecoming is a safe space for you to reflect on your service. Clearly, this is a this is a, a, a show about Julia Roberts. And think about it's also about the army. What comes next? Also about the doctor. Julia Roberts, famous star from Mystic Pizza. I can't wait to hear your stories and talk to you. This is also a show about music. About where you see yourself in the years to come. Show about fighting. If you're against violence, don't don't worry. It's not real. Julia Roberts from Mystic Pizza. Does anyone have any questions I can answer? It is not on Netflix. It is on Amazon uh, Prime Video. It's not on Netflix. Who said that? Guys, listen to me. Netflix does not have Julia Roberts from such films as Fireflies in the Garden, Charlotte's Web, America's Sweethearts, The Mexican, and television shows such as Samantha and American Girl Holiday, Extraordinary Moms, and Beslin, Three Days in September. She, Netflix does not have this show. Let me, listen, 
you're not convinced, okay? I can tell you're not convinced. I'm going to go on the Homecoming TV series Wikipedia page. All right? If Julia Roberts will not sell you on this show, if Julia Roberts will not give you the incentive to watch Homecoming, the TV series, on Amazon Prime, let me let me sell you on it more. We've got Bobby uh, Can- Cannavale. Born May 3rd, 1970. This is a 48-year-old man. Almost uh, sweet 5-0. There's a sweet 16. There's a sweet 5-0 as well. He's approaching it. All right. He has been in films such as I'm Not Rappaport, 1996, as the parking lot customer. A breakout role. You may have seen him in that. You may have been like, hey, he looks familiar. I remember him from uh, Homecoming. Well, there he is. He's also in 100 Feet as Lou Shanks. Also a breakout role. Really stood out in that one. Um, and he's also in, uh, The Irishman. This one's coming out. By a little-known director, Martin Scorsese. You might have heard of him. Made Goodfellas, Casino? Yeah, now I've piqued your interest, huh? Now, now are you gonna talk about Netflix? No, Amazon Prime Video. Alright, so that's one of the actors in it. Uh, I must also remind you, Julia Roberts is in it. From, um... From Ocean, from Closer, from I Love Trouble, and also Hook. She played Tinkerbell in it, and she wanted to. Uh, now I don't want to make this dirty, but there was some sexual tension bef- between her and Peter Pan. But it has nothing to do with Homecoming. I'm just trying to remind you of which uh, which actresses are in this and actors. We've also got Stephen James in here, born December sixteenth, nineteen ninety three, age twenty four. Very young man, very talented actor. I'll I'll list off some of his performances here. Perhaps you uh, remember him from Seventeen Bridges. Well, no, you don't. And if you said that you remember him from this, you'd be a liar because this this hasn't come out yet. This is coming out in uh, twenty nineteen. Directed by Brian Kirk. We've got Chadwick Boseman in it, but he's not in Homecoming, so we're not going to talk about him right now. All right. Um, listen, we can't. We can neither confirm nor deny that he's uh, related to Kevin James, but he is actually the younger brother of actor Shamir Anderson, who is actually not in Homecoming, but he is in Degrassi: The Next Generation as a thug in the episode Idiot Esque, uh, 2011. So, if you would like to see his brother. Definitely check that out, but uh, I would really recommend that you watch Homecoming first. Really great season coming up. Julia Roberts is in it. Um, let's see what else he's been in here. Uh, well, what does it matter? Because Homecoming is what matters. We're, we're going to look at someone else here. We've got Shea uh, Wingham here. I thought he was going to be a woman, but he's actually a man. Um, oh, wait a second. This is the guy from uh, Boardwalk Empire. Why does he look so different all of a sudden? He also looks like he, you know, he's had a kind of a rough time here. He's a little upset. I think he's just emotional because Homecoming on Amazon Prime Video with starring Julia Roberts from such films as um, Pretty Woman is here. Okay. Maybe his name is Shay, like Shea Butter. And let me tell you something. His acting, his acting is smooth. All right. This is a, another star from Homecoming. The Amazon Prime uh, original series. He's also starred in such uh, films as Wheelman, as Motherfucker. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. M- Mother Effer. I'm, I'm going to get this out of here. Um, I'd, I'd rather not curse here. Oh. F- Do not watch Wheelman. As much as you want to support uh, Shia LaBeouf here, um, he... He used to be on Netflix, and let me tell you something. I don't support Netflix. I support Amazon Prime Video with such hits as Homecoming. And, um, and, uh, Homecoming and, uh, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and Transparent, uh, Catastrophe, Sneaky Pete, The Last Post, Electric Dreams, and One Mississippi. All, all, you know, all great series that you can enjoy. But uh, I definitely wouldn't, listen, if you want to look at the back uh, 
catalog of she she wingham over here i i definitely suggest that you research and make sure that none of these are from uh netflix only look at the amazon prime original series is here okay uh who else we got we got alex uh Kar karpovsky here look at that this is an actor this is an actor you could trust um he was in the hit film Tiny Furniture, also known as Aurora. Aura would like you to know that she's having a very, very hard time, Tiny Furniture. Kind of a long title, uh, but the Japanese do that and it works for them, so. Uh, they only had a budget of 65000 made 416 but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Alex... Karpovsky and his involvement in um, Homecoming as Craig for 10 episodes. And that's just the first season. Uh, it's probably been renewed, so he's going to be in more episodes here. But I just want to go over uh, Alex's life and career here. He has read hundreds of stories for live and radio audiences, including NPR's Selected Shorts, The Paris Review, The New York Times' Modern Love. So you could tell this man is well-versed in speech. His speech skill is quite high, so you, you just have to check him out in uh, Homecoming. Then we've got uh, Sissy Spacek. Look at her. Bit of a Stephen King look here, uh, but I love his literature, so I'm really hoping that maybe she can capture some of that talent on the, uh, on the small screen here. And now, I say small screen, but I'm not belittling it. Um, I'm also not belittling, uh, Sissy Spacek, born December 20, born a Christmas, a Christmas baby. Christmas has come early for the entertainment world. Let me tell you something with homecoming coming out and her playing Ellen Bergman. Whew, it's going to be quite a Christmas this year. Uh, but you might remember her from women in revolt as the girl extra at bar. Uh oh, uncredited. Um, or the old man in the gun as Jewel. Great film. Uh, just released in September tw on September twenty eighth, twenty eighteen. You might want to check it out there. She was in Oblivion. The film or the game? <laughs> oh, she's definitely in the game. I think she, you know, if she's got some high elf in her, that just means she'll live long and prosper. That's all that means. Uh, but yeah, homecoming. You know, let's let's take another. Like I, I know you guys want to see him. Homecoming is a safe space for you to reflect on your service and think about what comes next. I can't wait to hear your stories. And talk to you about this is looking really exciting in the years to come. Does anyone have any questions I can answer? Yes, yeah, so I'm really excited for homecoming here, guys. I hope you guys subscribe to Amazon Prime Video um, and cancel your Netflix subscription. Guys, if you need cash fast for Amazon Prime, and I highly, I highly recommend it, uh, definitely cancel Netflix immediately. Um, try to forget everything you've seen on Netflix as soon as you can. It, it's just saving space in your in your brain. Just trust me. You want to see Homecoming. You've also you also want to see the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Transparent Catastrophe. Let me just. Uh, let me just read off some of the series here just to kind of get you interested. Um, you can see uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Transparent, Catastrophe, Sneaky Pete, um, Britannia, The Last Post, Philip K. Dick's Electric Dreams, One Mississippi, The Man in the High Castle, Mozart in the Jungle, I Love Dick. Um, all right. Um, Red Oaks, The Tick, uh, Tin Star, Bosch. 
the Grand Tour lore, Picnic at Hanging Rock, and also now Homecoming with Julia Roberts from such films as um, Ocean's 12. All right? So really, highly, uh, highly recommend that. Really, really hope you guys give it a shot here. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. I don't think you'll be disappointed by it at all. So, give it a a frame by you know what? I think you're right. I think we should give it a frame by frame analysis here. Look, I don't mean to belittle all of you, but you might not know what's going on here. You know, I am a subscriber of um of Amazon Prime. I'm very passionate about Homecoming and Julia Roberts, particularly Julia Roberts' involvement in the Amazon Prime original Homecoming. Uh, so, you know, let's let's take a peek here because you guys might not have understood what's going on here. I just want to explain it to you. All right. I just want to I want to see if you guys notice um, some of the stuff going on here. All right. This might be a little advanced for you. Let's just take a look here. Homecoming is a safe space for you to reflect on your service and think about what comes next. I'm just going to play it. You guys watch it. Just I can't wait to hear your story. You can figure it out. And talk to you about where you see yourself in the years to come. Does anyone have any questions I can answer? Did you guys... Did you guys get it? And we're just gonna play it one more time here. Homecoming is a safe space for you. Did you see it? So what she did there, she actually laid down a tape recorder. Um, she's saying that this is a safe space, but the truth is she's recording this conversation, thereby nullifying the fact that this is a safe space. Everything this man says now is on record. And also, I want to—I just want to point out to you guys here, uh, if you notice this writing implement here. She's actually writing in a notebook. Um, she's probably going to write down everything he has to, he's saying. She does already have the tape recorder. That's kind of like a backup. Um, she probably distracted him or something. I mean, she has some wonderful tropical uh, fish over here. So, you know, maybe she invites people into the office and uh, gets them to spill the, spill the beans. And she's like, hey, look at these fish I have there. And they're beautiful. I mean, I can't take my eyes off them. I, I don't know. I know it's really hard to concentrate uh, on what's going on in the scene when you have such wonderful fish over here. Because I'm, I'm telling you, I automatically, it's like eye-catching. I just go right for those fish. Um, but as you're distracted by the fish, she's writing down everything you're saying. And so she's lulling you into a false sense of security and also recording you. So she has the evidence. She has the, the written evidence for herself in order to file her report. Maybe she worked for the government. Uh, maybe she's part of the narc sector. I'm not sure. Uh, have not seen this series yet. I'm really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to uh, diving into it and seeing what Julia Roberts, former star of Ocean's 12, uh, is up to in this one. But uh, yeah, those fish, they're just, they're almost, they're almost too vibrant. I mean, I know they say that the color red is the one that your eyes uh, go to first, but I, I mean, those yellows and oranges over there, they're just such a contrast uh, here. Even the glare on, on the window over here just doesn't, uh, doesn't do justice to these wonderful tropical fish here, but yeah, she's definitely definitely something fishy going on here. <laughs> no pun intended. To reflect on your service. All right, so he's got some paperwork too. Uh, perhaps this is what he's looking at here. Um, perhaps this has to do with stolen valor, which is a very serious problem in the United States. I don't know. I highly recommend. Um, you know, if you see. If you have served in the armed uh, armed forces before, and you're well versed with the uh, attire, the proper patches, uh, the proper boots, especially the boots are definitely a giveaway. Uh, I suggest that if you see somebody trying to, you know, you see someone walking around with uh, a half camo jacket on, some jeans, and uh, Crocs perhaps, and then uh, a beret from the Marines, you, you got to call the guy out. You got to be like, listen. Something is not right here. You know, I served and I can't I can't abide you going around getting free food when you're dressed like this. You're clearly who who did you serve under? 
and just kind of question them, but only if you're in, you know familiar with the armed forces. So I think there's definitely a stolen valor angle here. And think about what comes. All right, there's definitely a health angle angle here as well. Perhaps he has headaches. I just want to go back here. Uh, all right, let's let's do a little zoom in here. Try to figure out what kind of uh, pills these are. Yep. All right, so they're white and oval shaped. All right, let's do a little a little bit more of a zoom in here. Uh, can't make out any distinct. Hold, let's let's just zoom in just a little bit more here. All right, let's not go there. No, that's that's wrong. Um, hold on, we're gonna figure this out. Uh, enhance. All right, that's still not big enough. That's still not big enough here. Hold on. All right, we still can't make it out. There's got to be some sort of markings by law. Uh, hold on. Hold on. We're going to figure this out. All right. So if you look closer here, let's just make it a little bit bigger. All right. There's got to be a marking by law to tell you what kind of pill this is. Now, I can't make it out. Um, you know, I suggest, let, let me give you guys some homework here. Uh, if anyone's good with some editing software, perhaps uh, change the lighting on this. Um, you know, use Photoshop to kind of remove some of this blurriness here. Maybe we can uncover what's on these pills. Uh, definitely send it my way. I'm very interested in what's going on here. Def I can't make anything out with this, uh, with how dark it is in the scene. Uh, might be Advil, maybe? Uh, Tylenol? Might be something more sinister, you know? Some perhaps uh, Molly? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. I'm not a drug user, okay? I don't, I don't stand behind drugs. You know, if that's what you do, I suggest you get maybe some rehab, um, you know, fix your life up. I, I'm not going to try to tell you what to do, uh, but, you know, just look what happens to this guy. All right? Just look at what happens. Ready? What comes next? What happened there? I'm going to call you back now to The Sopranos. Now, this is an HBO show, and I don't recommend it. All right? I watched it before I saw Amazon Prime. Before I saw... Um, before I saw Catastrophe, the three seasons that are on Amazon Prime right now. All right? It was a dark time in my life. Um, but, now I don't mean to spoil The Sopranos for you, but I'm doing you a favor here because it's not an Amazon Prime original. Um, at the end of it, you know, it fades to black and everyone has their theories, but the official theory that I've heard is once it fades to black, it's like, boom, your life is over. See this scene switch here? As soon as he takes it, gone. Julia Roberts. What happened? I can't wait to hear your... And then she's upset. This is actually... Chrono this is hap all happening chronologically, Thanks. if you can notice here. All right, so he goes there. He takes the pills, drinks them. Julia Roberts, there she is. Chronological order. She's at the funeral, perhaps. She's wearing black. Very upset. I can't wait to hear your stories. People are running uh, very upset after the funeral. I don't know what this Mr. Robot yeah, thing has to do with to it. Uh, this guy's trying to cheer him, himself up with a harmonica. About Someone's trying to break in. Uh, a proper autopsy was not done. Where you see you. This Everybody who's come to honor this man who served in the U.S. Army, they're all trying to question this man who will not allow an autopsy to be made. In the years to come. She's still upset about it. A fight broke out. Everyone's very emotional after a funeral. It might lead to violence. Does anyone have any questions? This is the final step of grief uh, acceptance. Questions I can answer? All right, so this is a bit of a depression, uh, a depression, no, depressing show. Um, homecoming on Amazon Prime Video with uh, starring Julia Roberts. You know, it's a show for adults. Is this show about medical ma malpractice? I can't. I don't want to spoil it for you. It might be. I would. I would recommend you get Amazon Prime Video, and watch it for yourself. Make your own uh, distinctions here. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoon feed you what the show is about. My personal uh, theory here is that this is about a funeral. All right, someone's very upset that this man died. They're trying to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Guys, that's Homecoming on Amazon Prime Video. You know, sign up for Amazon Prime. Take a look at it yourself. Give me your theories. Uh, email me your theories. We will discuss them via email. Uh, if I don't get back to you, it just means that I think your theory is ridiculous. And I think you're messing around. You haven't watched the show. And you don't own Amazon Prime. And I also think you're a Netflix subscriber. If you subscribe to Netflix, I don't want your email. If you subscribe to Amazon Prime, send me an email. And let's talk about Homecoming, starring Julia Roberts, all right? Let's be serious about this. It's like Mac versus PC. You know, one's uh, customizable, you can get whatever you want in it, the other one's Mac. Think about that, all right? Guys, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go watch Homecoming on Amazon Prime, starring Julia Roberts. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow. So definitely check back. Um, really looking forward to seeing you. Uh, if you have watched Homecoming, I would love to discuss it with you tomorrow. Um, very, very excited to hear all your theories. Only real theories, like I said. If you're a Netflix subscriber, I will search. Also, if you send me an email, I will search to see if you uh, have been subscribed to Netflix at any point. If I see that there's a history of Netflix there, uh, I'll be less likely to speak to you about it. Okay, so have a wonderful night. Enjoy homecoming, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, good night.